everybody, it's Reverend Dan again for God a Minute. And I'm standing here at the Rocky River Rec Center and Memorial Hall and the Senior Center and the, the, um, the ice rink is over there and the pool's over there. And I'm thinking about Maundy Thursday. This Thursday, we're celebrating Maundy Thursday and Holy Week. We're in the middle of Holy Week. Maundy means mandate. And Jesus gave his last commandment when he was gathered, gathered with the uh, disciples in the upper room. He says, I give you this command to love one another as I have loved you. Love each other like I've loved you. We've lost our each others, haven't we? We used to work out with each other. We used to swim with each other. We used to play basketball with each other. We used to do all these each others. And they're all gone now. They've been taken away. That's why the new way we've learned to become each other is so, so important. We need to learn those new ways to be each other. We're doing it as a church. So at the church, our, our kids have written letters to our folks who are in the most vulnerable sections of life. Uh, uh, maybe they're at a assisted living or they're living alone and, and they're in the 70s and 80s. And so they're trying to figure out their new each other in this new world we live in. So they sent them letters and they're responding, saying how much it means to them, how much they care that the other part of the church has remembered that they're still out there. We're in a whole new world of each other. How are you living out near each other? One of those ways we can do it is we're having the Monday Thursday service, Thursday at 7.30. You can stream it, stream it live on our website. All you have to do is click on our website, and before you know it, you'll be with us, we'll be with each other as we stream that service together. And we remember how important that mandate, Monday Thursday, can be. We're going to celebrate communion together. So if you have bread and some type of juice or liquid, have it in front of you. We'll celebrate communion together. And then we'll see you Easter Sunday morning, 1125. Stream our service live. Just because the coronavirus is around doesn't mean the tomb is not empty. It will be empty. It, the stone will be rolled away and Christ will be alive again. No virus can stop any of that from happening. How are you living out your each other? We want to be each other with you. We'll see you Thursday night at 7.30 and Easter Sunday morning at 11.25. Let's be each other together even when we're separated. Thanks for giving God a few minutes.